Well, hi, friends and countrymen, countrywomen. Welcome to another episode of Running True. Uh, we've got not a whole lot to talk about today, but I thought I would start out with showing you where we are. So there's the graph. You can see there's my knee, my week of knee pain. And I ramped it up. And I just didn't get as many miles in last week because I was pretty busy. Didn't have anything to do with knee pain. In fact, my knee pain's been really good. I think um, acupuncture really fixed it up, made it feel a lot better. And the exercise I was doing made it better. Unfortunately, uh, having gone to physical therapy, I had some exercises that they showed me to kind of strengthen some things. And how I am and how I do sometimes is I actually overdo it in that department as well. So I got a really sore knee for a while and I had to kind of back off a little bit on that physical therapy. I'm back into it now, really a lot slower and a lot less effort. And I think it'll be a really good thing in the long run, but I have to say that it did set me back a little bit. Uh, one of the things that have been going on when I've been running lately, I've been running, I ran 12 miles today. And then I walked, in my counseling session, I walked downtown and back, so it was another three. Uh, so about 15 miles have been on my feet today, which is good. I've been listening to an audio book from, by Bill Bryson about Shakespeare. Um, I forget what it's technically, what the t book's technical title is, but it's about Shakespeare and it's by Bill Bryson. And he's a great author and he reads it as well. He's a great narrator too. And it was really very, very good. And that was through the library. So just to remind you, if you, you can get audiobooks from the library and put it on your phone. And instead of uh, listening to a podcast, which I do love my podcasts, I like to listen to law. This, as the runs get longer, I start listening to more audiobooks. One of the things I found today is I got extremely thirsty about mile uh, eight. And I realized I've been rather foolish in not bringing water with me. And it's getting, we're kind of getting to that point now where it's time for water. And uh, so I've got to start using, I've got to start bringing water with me when I run. Uh, and so I'll start running, wearing my running vest that has a water, a little water carrier on it. That'll be good. Footing was okay. I had my uh, spikes on today, but I wound up taking them off after I got through a particularly a particularly slippery section that's on Manitou Boulevard. That's kind of hard sometimes. Uh, probably, but the big thing that kind of set me back a little bit on my running this week, or last week rather, was the uh, performances of the vagina monologues that I did uh, with just some beautiful, wonderful women who are amazing actors. I just am in awe of what they did and it was incredible. And it was incredible to have that response from an audience. And it was a, it was a beautiful, wonderful thing. And it kind of occurred to me as I was doing this, I don't think I talked about this before, but basically when I was in, uh, I was really into theater as much as you can be. Theater and um, music, choir, kind of my fifth, sixth, um, seventh, eighth grade years. And then I started getting beat up at school because believe it or not, I was kind of an oddball. I feel like I might have told this story. But anyways, it was really nice to have this connection again to get back into the theater to, to, to do that kind of thing. And I forgot what a rush it is and how scared I am and how I think I'm going to forget all my lines. And then I stand up and boom, and it's just, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. And that relationship with an audience is just incredible, incredibly good. So I will be doing, I'm looking to do more, uh, granted, probably I'm sort of a niche, niche role, I would imagine. I think, although me, I'm, I'm thinking about taking some music lessons so I can do a variety of, a variety of parts. So that, that's something that's going on. 
I have, I've had some ideas that I might be working on as well, as far as just a one person show. I'd like to do that. Uh, I have some, not about me, but about more around the uh, times of the, the Wobblies in Spokane and have a little show around that. So I think that would be fun. I just, I just really enjoy it. And I, and I enjoy writing. So I think those are two things that I, I would enjoy putting together, some writing and some performing, maybe even a little singing. So be warned, that could be happening. That could be happening. We'll see. Uh, work's good. Everything's good. Boy, everything's just great. And uh, I think I'll get my running on track. It'll be really nice. We're going to see my son Aiden in Seattle pretty soon. And that's going to be really fun. I haven't seen him in a long time. I miss him. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. I know it's a very short one, but I really don't have much to say in this 12th episode of Running True, something I didn't mention in the beginning. Uh, although I have to, you know, probably, you know, whether we're going to be able to intersect that blue line anytime soon, I don't know. But like I said before, I think I can do this thing anyways. And to be honest, this just being able to have these videos makes me more, I guess, I hate to say accountable, like it's some 12 step group or something, but I do have to think about it. I want my miles to get up there. So tomorrow's a busy day. I've got some busy days ahead of me, but I think I'm going to be able to get pretty close to, what are we supposed to be? Oh, 44 miles this week. I don't know. We'll get close to it. I don't think we'll get to 40, but we'll get, we'll, we'll do good. All right. Thanks everybody for tuning in to, to Running True. Uh, kind of low energy, kind of tired from the run today. And I thank you for tuning in and I'm looking forward to seeing you sometime. All right. Thanks you guys. Bye.